Hey guys, welcome uh, to this video today. Uh, I just made myself some coffee, uh, which I hope you can see over here. But yeah, you, I might have put it in the intro, I don't know. Uh, so in any case, uh, today I want to talk about, uh, we'll, we'll talk about something interesting. So uh, back in first term, uh, towards the end of first term, we had a, a lecture, a Christmas lecture, um, which I think Imperial uh, do every year. So it's like a, I don't know what the word inaugural means, but I think it's an inaugural event. Um, um, in any case, uh, the person to give that lecture was Sir Patrick Valence. And if you're wondering, like, where have I heard Patrick Valence? That name sounds kind of familiar. It's because on the BBC, uh, when Boris Johnson does his, um, when he does those, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Those coronavirus speeches where they come out and talk to the uh, reporters and, you know, tell us what's going on. Um, often Chris Whitty and Patrick Valence, who are both, uh, I think, co kind of chief scientific advisors for the government um turn up and uh, assist so that's where you've heard of patrick Valence. in any case on, on around christmas he gave a lecture to imperial college medical students and it was a really really interesting lecture so he spoke uh, quite a lot about um the challenges that they faced early on uh, so this is back i think in march when lockdown happened last year uh, when it started and um he spoke like there was a couple of interesting things which was obviously with the uk like the early um kind of early input of coronavirus into this country where it came from wasn't actually China, it was more uh, European countries like Italy, uh, which, yeah, uh, I remember that being on the news as well, but it was interesting to hear it from him. Um, and he spoke about like how early on the idea of a lockdown was like a draco, it was such a draconian thing. It was kind of because London and the UK as a whole is a global country and it's built and its reputation globally is it's known as like the hub of, you know, as a, probably the hub of the world, you know, London. Um, there's so many people who travel in and out of London all the time. Loads of different industries of our economy heavily rely on travel being open. So the idea of like closing travel and lockdown was like, um, early on, it was like this ridiculous thing, like in, within government that like, that's like, that can never happen. Obviously, uh, we all learned a lesson that it can and it needed to happen. Um, and probably sooner as well, uh, would have been better. Something, um, Sir Patrick Vance talks about is you, you can only do the best with the information you have at the time and you have to make decisions based on the information that you have um, and it's interesting the way he spoke about that as medics um, one of the key principles of medicine is like doing things that are evidence-based right western medicine is based on evidence um, and repeat like it's the scientific method it's, it's an evidence-based thing actually something interesting we learn about um, really early on in first term so I think this was in lifestyle medicine and prevention was like one of the key principles um, of the scientific method is that it should be anything you want to study should be falsifiable, meaning you should be able to verify it by kind of showing that you should be able to test if it's false. Um, and yeah, and I'm kind of going on a tangent there with the evidence based thing. But anyway, he was talking about that. And it comes to the main point, which is what I want to talk about in this video. And it's not going to be really long. Um, so Patrick, so Patrick Bell said one of his kind of goals was his um, the, one of the chief scientific advisors is that he wants to implement scientific thinking through all levels of government and make it available at all times, right? And he said this really interesting thing, which was, say, sorry guys, my video just paused there, but in any case, so he was saying how economic policy is entrenched in all level of government, all levels of government. So whether that's Home Secretary, Treasury, or any other departments of government, they all think about, you know, when they're making decisions, they consider how does this uh, impact the economy? Because the economy is like one of the key things that governments uh, have to kind of try and help to, you know, improve. We, a better economy means better living standards for everyone generally. So that's, um, that's interesting. But he said scientific like thinking and scientific advisors are usually only called to the forefront when there's an emergency right so given there's a pandemic now it's like oh sage and you know let's get all the scientists on board and let's listen to what they have to say because we're in an emergency right but if you kind of get rid of the emer emergency it kind of goes back to the default of oh the people that the economists will make all the decisions and scientists don't really get much of a say and uh, i thought that was a really really uh, insightful point that he made and um and I hope he kind of goes on to achieve that goal in kind of making sure that science is not just at the forefront when when things are going wrong, but even at the best of times, we should be relying on science because scientific method is uh, is like it's a great way of kind of, um, you know, I think making uh, good decisions because it's based on evidence. 
uh, it's based on repeatability. So it's not there's it, it's kind of objective, right? It removes hopefully room for doubt. And it's making decisions based on in information that we have that is accurate, reliable. I think all of those things are really great. Um, and yeah, so I guess that's what I wanted to kind of, that's a really interesting insight that I gleaned from that Christmas lecture. And um, I thought that was a really, 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 uh, you know, interesting thing, which is why I wanted to share this with you before I have my coffee, uh, which is probably getting a bit cold now. Um, so yeah, so I wonder like if you guys have any thoughts um, on, on that concept. And then put it in the comments. I'd love to have a brief discussion. Um, I feel like that, like this kind of thing is probably like for Twitter. Like I feel like that's what like you know putting out your thoughts. But I don't really use Twitter, so I, I've done the video here. Um, but yeah, so here I am, just in the kitchen, just made some coffee, and we spoke about Patrick Valens, and we spoke about uh, you know scientific thinking and why it should probably be in government, um, uh, you know, in, at all levels, and not just come out when when there's an emergency. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching uh, and I hope I see you in the next video. Take care.